this, this, this. The Geek Free Update with the Geek Free Update with Alan. Ryan. The Geekery Update. 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 Oh no, they're great. Oh, they're great. So according to sources, that has now been debunked. I should also probably clarify that, that these the sources were actually not very uh, good with their knowledge. So unfortunately, it didn't come through. But uh, there was a, uh, a rumor going around for a couple of days that Jennifer Lawrence was on her way to Sydney, Australia to, uh, in some way, shape, or form, help begin the production process for the Fantastic Four movie, which, uh, as we all know, is coming. Kevin Feige has uh, confirmed it. John Watts is directing. If you guys don't know who John Watts is, he is the current director of the Spider-Man trilogy in the MCU, Spider-Man Homecoming, Far From Home, and Spider-Man 3. That is his trilogy. As soon as he's done with Spider-Man 3, he's sliding right on over to the Fantastic Four. So uh, fortunately or unfortunately, uh, Jennifer Lawrence will not be playing Sue Storm. Uh, that is a false rumor. She will not be playing Sue Storm. Uh, it was actually kind of funny, though, when, when it was announced that Jennifer Lawrence was going to be Sue Storm for, like, that brief second. Oh, my gosh, the internet exploded. I haven't seen that many people that upset about a casting since Heath Ledger got cast as Joker. Really? And I, I, want, I want everyone to hear me say that again. Because if y'all don't remember when Heath Ledger was cast as Joker, everyone was like, hey, he's going to be awful. He's going to be awful. Did he not <laughs> win an Oscar? He won an Oscar for it, posthumously. And most of us agree it's one of the greatest acting performances ever. That being said. Ah. Aha, I had to slide that one in. Uh, um, <laughs> going, get, going back to Fantastic Four, with all of this Jennifer Lawrence hoopla and hoopla uproar, uh, something that did come out, and we have officially been able to confirm this, is Marvel is looking for writers for Fantastic Four as we speak. So um, that uh, also probably means John Watts is going to have a heavy hand or a heavy say in who these writers are. Um, in terms of the story of the Fantastic Four, we know nothing at this point. It could come out in 2023, 2022. Uh, there's currently five movies Marvel movies, MCU movies slated for 2022. I want everyone to remember that. Five. Doctor Strange, two. Thor, four. Uh, Black Panther, two. Captain Marvel, two. And then there's a movie in October that we is still unknown. Most people think it's Blade because it would make sense to release a Blade movie in October. Touche. Good job, Marvel. But uh, all that Going back to the Fantastic Four, uh, at this point, the only thing we know is John Watts is directing. There's no actor. There's no actress. Uh, there is no writer. There is no executive producer except Kevin Feige just yet. So, um, so first of all, I want to comment on, okay, so how reliable is the news source that Jennifer Lawrence was going to go on production of Fantastic Four? Because, so maybe, okay, so let's say that was somewhat viable, somewhat true. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's debunked she's not playing Sue Storm, Invisible Woman. However, what if she's playing another character? I mean, what if she's still in the movie? Mistake? Well, yeah, see, that was one thought because, and now I don't know if this whole multiverse thing is just for the arc of WandaVision, Spider-Man 3, and Doctor Strange 2. I don't know if the multiverse thing is just within that arc, or if they're going to extend it to the rest, to some other movies. So saying Fantastic Four would include the the Fox Mutants. Okay, so if she is going on production, she could be. But she's not though. It's she wasn't just debunked as Sue Storm. Okay. She was debunked as having a role. Okay, so that is my question there. How? How much so of that let me is true? let me kind of explain to you how this all bubbled bubbled up. The only reason I took it and accepted the rumor as something worth discussing is because uh, we all know how much I love Charles Murphy. I think he is legitimately the most reliable insider we have available. Not, not and, to mention he's your pal. He's he's a great 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 guy, <laughs> and he has a wonderful team at. Uh, Murphy's Multiverse. If you guys, if you guys don't 
like necessarily know who to follow in terms of insiders, uh, Murphy's Multiverse is a great place to go. Uh, I'm beginning to one, think he's clairvoyant. Well, well, so it go back one one to one and a half years and look at his WandaVision uh, scoops. They've all been accurate. So the only reason I considered the rumor worth talking about is because Charles Murph, he didn't, it wasn't his rumor. He had nothing to do with the rumor. I want to make sure, make sure I'm making that very clear. He had nothing to do with the rumor. He was simply poo talking, saying, this is what I've heard. Okay. But it, I, um, from my understanding, it sourced from a, uh, a Daily Mail uh, news website type uh, service in Australia. Um, and they, I would say they, they're not quite, we got this covered, cosmic news resources, etc. Um, just completely off the wall. Cause they, they're, you're fandom.com. Okay. Fan, they would be Phantom similar. Wire? The Phantom Wire. Wire. Phantom yeah. Wire. Yeah, okay. yeah. They would be similar to Phantom Wire in that a lot of what they post is bogus, but every now and again, they do just... <laughs> Hit something right out the park. That's the only reason I even like considered it is a possibility. Um, a couple days later, it was debunked, um, and so he, she has nothing to do with the movie at this at this stage, anyway. At this point, correct. Okay, correct. Okay, so what I was going to say, if it was something that she was going there for production, either she's Mystique from the Fox universe, or she's another character like Alicia Masters or something, you know. She'd be good, Alicia Masters. Yeah. You know, they could be they could be doing a completely they could be doing a gender change for Doctor Doom and making Victor Von Doom a chick. And Jennifer Lawrence, let's be honest, she she'd kill that role. She'd be oh, a great yeah. villain. Yeah, 